Who's your commander? Good luck. Equip. Move to combat. Resolves. Okay. Now, before you attack Does anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello everyone, DJ here. This is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel, and I have a brand new commander out of Innistrad Crimson Vow. It's Toxril the Corrosive, the new slug commander. Toxril is a legendary slug horror, a 7-7 seven, seven for five black black. At the beginning of each end step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Each creature you don't control gets minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. Whenever a creature you don't control with a slime counter on it dies, create a one, one black slug creature token. Blue, black, sacrifice a slug, draw a card. Toxril is death to creature decks. It's a slow, inevitable board wipe. At each end step means that even the biggest creatures on the battlefield will end up going down in just a couple of turns. You know, board wipes in your command zone are not a new thing. We've got like Child of Alara or Massacre Girl already out there. But when you have that effect in your command zone just sitting there, it definitely changes the pace and tempo of the game. People don't want to just deploy their creatures out into an inevitable board wipe. What stinks though is that you have to keep your commander around a little while to make that board wipe finally work. So make sure that you protect your Toxro. I'm thinking the first thing I want in this commander deck is cards like Feign Death, Malakir Rebirth, Supernatural Stamina, all around to keep your Toxro on the battlefield. Or, you know, we're in Demir, so counter spells work too, I guess. There are some cute ways to accelerate your board wipe clock. For example, if you have two Toxros out, then you'll put two slime counters on it, and your creatures will end up getting minus four, minus four at the beginning of the first end step. And the next end step, it'll be minus eight, minus eight. Yeah, nothing surviving that long. And you'll get double the slugs out of it. Pretty cute, but honestly, I don't know if you need it. One Toxril should be good enough. Another way to kill your opponent's creatures faster is to shrink them temporarily with slime counters on them. So cards like Mass Diminish or Polymorphous Jest can just make them into one ones and they'll instantly die. I also like Sudden Spoiling, just as a combat trick in general. I don't think you need all of these things though. I think that Toxroll by itself is good enough. There is one way that I do like to accelerate those slime counters, which is Sludge Monster. It's the only other card out there that can produce a slime counter where you need it. And so starting off, you can spread those slime counters around and it turns the creatures into two twos. And then as soon as your Toxroll hits the battlefield, it'll add the last slime counter, killing everything. It'll be great. You know, if you have a reliable board wipe in your command zone, then you can just give away creatures willy-nilly and you'll know that they'll soon become slugs on your side of the battlefield. So cards like Forbidden Orchard that give away a useless 1-1 spirit or Clackbridge Troll, Slaughter Specialist, Hunted Horror, Hunted Phantasm, A Crowin Horse, Genesis Chamber, Curse of Disturbance, all of these cards can give you some value, but also just distribute dinky creatures all around the battlefield for other people to mess with. And of course, if I'm giving away a bunch of dinky creatures that are bound to die, I'm gonna be gaining value as they do. So I'm gonna play some Aristocrats cards. I'm gonna play Black Market, so I gain a ton of mana as things die, so I can keep deploying my commander. My commander's pretty expensive. I'm also gonna drain my opponents out. I think I like Massacre Worm the best because it's two life for everything that dies, but of course I'm fine with Blood Artist effects. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Gissa Glorious Resurrector. Maybe not for these tokens that I can't get back, but all the other creatures that I plan on killing. And then just like I get creatures back on my side of the battlefield with Gissa, I am gonna be gaining a lot of slug value for my opponent's creatures. So Aara First of Lockdwain will drain my opponents whenever I gain a slug, and I can turn those slugs into cards. By the way, I can already turn those slugs into cards with my commander. I think I can get my opponents to attack each other too with cards like Crown of Doom and Bloodthirsty Blade, but also more importantly, the Monarch mechanic. The Monarch can be a really fun way to spread damage around, and also, when you're playing an Aristocrat strategy, every damage counts. So I'm going to play cards like Court of Ambition, Custody Lich, and Marchesa's Decree. Now, giving my opponents the Monarch in the early game, along with the 1-1 creatures to be able to get it back, is problematic. But the Monarch, as soon as I land my Toxril, becomes amazing because it basically becomes a hard lock on creatures. Your opponents aren't gonna be able to land a creature to be able to get the Monarch back when you've got Toxril really, really going. Plus all those slugs to chump block and then draw cards from, it's gonna be super easy. 
And of course, speaking of all those 1-1s I'm giving my opponent, I think I might give them a few more 1-1s. With a card like Cormus Bell and Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. This combination makes all of their lands into 1-1 creatures. That happen to be swamps too. And this is especially good with your commander because they instantly get a slime counter, they all instantly die, and you get an army of slugs on your side of the battlefield, just being essentially an instant win and crippling your opponent. I like that a lot. Now it feels like we're well suited for creature decks, that's why I really like the draw ability on your commander, because it lets you get back into those games. Sacrifice a slug, draw a card. But if you have a skull clamp, pay one mana, sacrifice a slug, draw two cards. That's pretty good. Yogmoth Thran Physician's also good, but even though I tease a little bit, uh, the draw ability on this is totally fine and properly costed. Of course, we're not going to have easy access to card draw because there are not a wealth of slugs in Magic. I know, it's a shame. But in these colors, there's only four to choose from, and they're not very commander playable. Of course, we could make everything a slug with Arcane Adaptation or Conspiracy, but Honestly, the payoff isn't that great. This is not a slug deck. Although, it would be wrong of me not to throw in a Mutavault just in case I needed to like build my own Horizon Land. But there is one relevant slug in the deck, and that's the Commander itself. It is a slug, and it can sacrifice itself to itself to draw a card. That is actually surprisingly good, because if you have infinite mana, this is a combo win outlet. You can draw your entire deck by just playing your commander, sacrificing it to itself, drawing a card. So if you have an infinite mana outlet in your command zone, that means that this can be competitive, right? Competitive slugs, yes. So what is this deck actually? Well, it's a cool board wipe in your command zone and people can't let it sit around. It's gonna be pretty threatening and take over the creature part of the game. And if you have blue to back it up with counter spells or interaction of some sort, then what are your opponents gonna do? Also, if you have the ability to just combo out with your general, I also don't know what they're gonna do. This deck could be built pretty competitively, but it's also just a seven drop slug commander. Uh, it's pretty great and pretty awesome. Tell me in the comments down below how you would build Toxroll. And I want to thank you for watching this video and thank you to my sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. They sponsor the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel every single day. And if you use the coupon code JUMBO5, you'll save 5% off your order. And they've got some great pre-order prices on Innistrad Crimson Vow, so check them out. I also want to thank my patrons. They're amazing and they support me every single day. This channel would not be anything without them. Thank you, patrons. And thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out my other Crimson Vow comment all across this channel. And uh, while you're at it, uh, subscribe. Stuff like that. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.